past week, the campus sidewalks were filled with zombies and screams from every residence hall. Residence Life sponsored the first annual Haunted Halls in hopes of giving students a dose of Halloween fun and fright. Um, you know, we can't top Halloween Horror Nights up in, uh, you know, Universal Studios, but we're, uh, you know, I guess the next best thing. Uh, just kind of fun getting the spirit of Halloween. Every residence hall decorated their lobby in the spirit of competition. Freiburger seemed to be the talk of campus with their asylum theme. So right now you guys are in Freiburger and our team is as Insane Asylum. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of really scary. It was yeah. scary. <laughs> the festival continued at the Halloween Ball hosted by the Knights Activities team. The ball took place on the center lawn between Trinity and E. M. Lynn residence halls. Students enjoyed sweet treats and refreshments, hay bales at the pumpkin patch, and a live DJ to keep the fun going. The event proved to be a good time for all that participated. I think they did a really good job doing that. I mean, I thought it was going to be like sort of, yeah, I don't know, just kind of cheesy. But uh, no, they did good. They did really well at that. It was funny how the people inside, how they acted. Trying to make it as scary as possible. I tried not, I just tried to be aware of my surroundings. But other than that, it was pretty fun. Surrounding me, it was really scary. And I think it was even more scary, scary because like, we know, like, we know who those people are. We can't see them. So like they can touch us. So that most haunted houses, they can't really touch you. Students hope to enjoy this evening of fun and fright for years to come. This is Casey Mann reporting for iPulse.